Hey what's up guys, Jessica Zoe here and welcome to my first FIFA 17 Club Tour video. This time we are covering the month October and this is again going to be a series I will be doing every single month throughout this year which I've been doing since I think FIFA 15 so um, yeah if you like it then make sure to leave a like on the video it would be very much appreciated and um, yeah in this video I'm basically just going to be showing you my squads and also just my entire club like which players I have in my club and stuff so um, yeah we're going to be starting off with my first squad which is a hybrid skill squad which is actually a team I will be doing a squad builder video on very very soon this week so look out for that it will include some really really cool goals also some goals you actually saw from the uh, compilation I uploaded yesterday um, check it out if you haven't already there will be a link in the description uh, down below but um, yeah this obviously is built around some of the five star skillers such as uh, Ben Arfa uh, we got Thiago Ribery and also the packed version here of Di Maria the player I packed uh, Kind of at the start of uh, FIFA 17, which I was really happy with. And uh, he's been doing okay for me. 16 goals, uh, 49 games. Also used him for Fatal. And um, yeah, he's probably uh, probably one of the players I was really looking forward to try out this year. Since he obviously got that 5-star skill moose. Uh, we got this guy as well, Renato Sanchez. An absolute animal on the midfield. Really, really like him. He does go for a lot. I think I picked him up for quite cheap though. Uh, because right now he's, I think, really expensive. Picked him up for 12k, which is not too bad. And then the defense, uh, Pepe. I said it before uh, when I was actually at the capture event. He is one of my favorite uh, defenders in the game. And also used him quite a bit for this team as well. So, um, yeah, definitely one of the best defenders in my opinion. Uh, which can get an ultimate team this year. Uh, then we're going to move to the next team. Which, again, is going to be a hybrid skill squad. Um, again, a team I will be doing a video on very, very soon as well. And uh, this one was built around the uh, once to watch version of a Giuliano. Who did get that upgrade. Uh, quite a while ago and you can see right there 21 games 10 goals 10 assists I think a decent record picked him up for quite cheap as well uh, not too sure what his price is right now uh, we also got this guy Neymar still my favorite five star skiller in the game uh, probably could have done a lot better I think in terms of like uh, the chances I had with him in, in the games I played because this guy is just an absolute insane beast as well five star skin was five star weak foot again just as always and um, you can see right there, 18 goals, 22 games. I think I could have done maybe a little bit better, but I just tend to go with skill goals only for, for squads like these. So like the really easy goals are like usually the ones I kind of screw up the most. Uh, we also got Quadrado here. Uh, right winger, 10 goals, 25 games. Also really good player this year. Um, even though I struggled with him at the capture event, I just couldn't score with him. And then uh, we got Asamoa, four star skimmers as well. And also Borja Valero, who is actually a default center attacking mid, but um, I'll be using him as a CDM, doing quite well. Scored five goals, four assists. And um, he has four star skimmers this year, which is awesome. So um, yeah, also sort of a hidden gem, I think. And then a uh, defense, we got this guy, Martinez, and also Rodriguez, really solid and a uh, cheap defensive duo. Uh, next up is going to be my Fatal Squad, which is obviously the series you all know uh, I'll be doing on my channel as well. Uh, currently, Ramos and Moya are leading uh, in terms of the next two players. Uh, the next episode will go live tomorrow, by the way. Um, so, um, yeah, look out for that as well. But um, the team is looking amazing. Um, I've seen some comments from you guys saying that I actually go with, like, the most obvious uh, pairs when it comes to, like, the players and stuff. But... I mean, like, I'm going with the French League. My fatal player is Di Maria, so there aren't really that many options to uh, link him up with. And I tried my best going with sort of a hybrid route. So, yeah, like, going with the pairs such as Matuidi and stuff, which most likely will be in the next episode as well. Um, if we obviously get enough coins to get him, then, um, yeah, don't be surprised if you see him again. Because, like, there aren't really that many, like, other great midfielders in that league, which is uh, kind of annoying. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I think my Tweety will do a good job if uh, if we put him into the team. But um, so far, anyway, team looks amazing. Really, really happy with it. Uh, next up is going to be Skill Tree, which is a team I've been playing a few games with. Lost most of them. It is basically a team with uh, a bunch of five-star skillers. Um, actually, six to be exact. I could maybe fit in another one. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah. It's a formation I, I never really liked in any FIFA, but I just really wanted to try it out since obviously Thiago and players such as Di Maria got 5-star skill was this year. And um, yeah, the options of actually making some insane skill squads are obviously way higher this year since uh, a lot of the high rated players got 5-star skill moves uh, just like these two players. But um, yeah, you can try it out if you want to. It is a bit expensive with the likes of Di Maria and stuff, but um, yeah, it's 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 fun to play with, but don't expect to win that many games if we're just going for skilling just like I did. 
Um, next up is going to be my final team, actually, Brazilian team. And this one actually features the squad building uh, challenge version of Douglas Costa, who, uh, who has been alright for me. I really, really do like his regular version. Um, you will see him in the uh, upcoming episodes of Skill into Glory soon as well, so look out for that. But um, yeah, been trying out this uh, this guy for only a few games. Did score a couple goals for me, but um, yeah, still need to kind of try him out more, I think. Also got this guy again, Giuliano. Also uh, a returning 5-star skiller, Analzinho. And obviously Neymar as well, the 5-star skiller and uh, Pato. So um, that is pretty much uh, my Brazilian team for now. Maybe I'll upgrade it soon. Uh, really hope though that some of the 5-star skillers get like informs and stuff. Uh, obviously the ones that I can afford because right now I don't really have that much coins uh, left to buy any informers. But um, yeah, Giuliano getting another inform or something would be amazing. Uh, right now though, I'm going to be showing you actually the players which I have on my club. And... Um, yeah, you can see right there a bunch of loan versions of uh, Legend Leap Mana, which I haven't used yet. Uh, also got this guy, wants to watch version of Hummels, which I think got an inform, I think, a few weeks ago. So, yeah, I haven't used him yet. Might actually use him soon. And then, um, yeah, some more loan players and also a couple informs, which you can see right there. So, I'm just going to go, like, through these really, really quickly because I think it's kind of boring to watch. I think, like, the first few pages are only interesting and uh, also the ones at the end because obviously I do have some untradeable players um, from some of the squad button challenges uh, which you can see right there we got Douglas Costa again uh, good set Thiago actually a five star skiller which I got and some more random players um, I actually didn't really get like that many of the players which you uh, got if you like um, gave like a full team of I don't know Man City players such as the Sterling one because I thought at the time that it wasn't worth it um, I did go for the Sun one because I pretty much had all the players in the club which I needed and I knew I wasn't going to use those players anyway. So I picked Son up, but I've played zero games with him so far. I'm not too sure if I'll play with him um, because he only has three star skill moves, which is something I just, yeah, tend to care about a lot. Like four star skill moves is all right for me, but three star skill moves is uh, not really that great. But um, yeah, these are all the players I got from some of the squad building challenges where you have to like give 11 uh, non-rare players, uh, some okay players. I guess, um, did manage to get an inform, but I think I already uh, used him in one of the squad building challenges where you had to apply an inform. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, what I want to know from you guys though is um, uh, what kind of team should I make for, uh, for, for champions? Because it is a game mode I haven't touched at all. And you can see these players, these are pretty much the best players I have right now. I do have 130k left too. Um, maybe after Fatal I will maybe sell on some players which I don't really use that often such as Alaba, maybe Sergio Ramos, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, if you have any cool ideas for sort of like a skill squad which also is really really good uh, for the for Champions uh, Weekend League uh, because I just haven't played it at all so yeah, let me know in the comments, uh, feel free to link me on Twitter or something any cool ideas because uh, it would be very much appreciated and um, it is definitely something I've been thinking of doing but I just I just couldn't be arsed uh, so far anyway but anyway guys that's pretty much going to be the end hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later bye bye